Hi, this is Sammy again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to memorize the multiplication table from six to nine using your hands. And uh, the nine is very simple. The six to eight is also simple, but it involves a little bit more than the, the, the number nine. So I'm going to leave the number nine till the end of this video, but I'm going to show you how to do six to eight and maybe just go with your kids and, and practice, practice it yourself first and then show your kids how to do it. And then they'll have no problems uh, with the numbers six to eight and the multiplication table. Okay, so what we do basically for six to eight, you use both hands right here. And in each hand, you count your fingers from six to 10. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and the same here, that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now let's see how it works. Let's say we say, eight times six. So you go to one hand and count up to eight. Remember, we count from six to 10 on each hand. So eight times seven, it'll be six, seven, eight. You close these fingers times seven, six, seven, and you close these fingers. Now what you do, you multiply these fingers that are open. So you have two here and you have three there. So two, two times three is six. Keep this number in, in mind right now. And what you do, you go to the closed fingers you count them by tens. And since you, have, since you have five closed fingers, that counts for 50. So you have the 50 and then the two times three, which is six, you add them 50 plus six is 56. Now let's see, if we do, could do six times eight. So six times eight, you go to one hand, remember your hands, the fingers count from six to 10 on each hand. So six times eight, so six, seven, eight. Now we have the closed, fing the, 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 the closed fingers are, four and we remember the closed fingers we count them by tens so that four that means that's 40 and now let's multiply the four here and the two the open fingers four times two gives you eight so that's 48 and that's what six times eight as six times eight is 48 so now let's do seven times six seven times six so you go to one hand and count to seven so six seven you remember we, we, we start with six on each hand so six seven times six so seven times six six now the closed fingers, there are three. And you remember the closed fingers count by 10. So that's three, that means 30. Now let's multiply the open fingers three times four, three times four, three times four is 12. Now you add this 12 to the closed fingers, the 30, 12 plus 30 gives you 42. You also could use this with the nines as well. Okay, and I'll show you how to use it with the nines, but the nines is even easier. So I'm gonna show you what, what to do with the nine right after this. But let's say we say nine times seven. Okay, so nine times seven now, in one hand you count up to nine, so six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the other hand, you count up to seven, six, seven. So the closed fingers, you have six closed fingers, count by 10, so that counts for 60. And then the open fingers, one and three, you multiply them, one times three is three, uh, add them to the 60, that's 60, 63. So nine times seven is 63. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the nine. A lot of you most likely have seen the nine before, but for anyone who didn't see it, the nine is really simple. Now, you open your hands and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you count by, you count, you count from one to ten uh, in these hands. You don't, you, you, the other one, it was six to ten on each hand, but these hands, you just start at one all the way to ten. So now, if we want to go nine times seven, like we did before, so what you do, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You close the seventh finger. Okay. Now, how many fingers you have on the left side? I don't know if it's going to be your left or right that are open, which is are these. You have six. You count this by ten, so that's sixty. And how many you have here left on 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 the right? To my right, anyways. And that's three, so that's sixty-three for six times seven. Now. How about nine times five? So nine times five, you count one, two, three, four, five. You close the fifth finger. Now, how many fingers on the left side of, of the closed finger, which is are these? These are four. You count them by tens. That gives you 40. And you have five on the right. That's 45. Let's do one more. Nine times eight. So nine times eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You close this finger. Tough to close this finger. Now, how many fingers you have on the left side, on my left at least, uh, that are open? You have seven, you count those by tens, that gives you 70. How many open fingers on the right side is two? So that's 72. And that's how you do this. If you wanna do nine times nine, then you
you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you close that finger. How many fingers are open on the left side of the closed finger? There are eight, you count them by tens, that's 80. And you have one here, so nine times nine is 81. I hope you like this video and I really hope it helps your kids, especially the kids who have a difficult time with the multiplication table. The multiplication table is so important that you have to understand it well. So for kids, understand your multiplication table, understand your integers really well, and understand fractions. This will, 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 will make you really good at math. Like these are the three things that when kids struggle with, they have problems with math. And just look at um, what I'm gonna share with you. Uh, I'm gonna share with you a whole section on, 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 on fractions. And also my little boy, Omar, he did something with dinosaurs about integers. I'm gonna show that to you as well. So you don't have difficulty with integers and you don't have to use the calculator to do integers. You don't have to use the calculator to do fractions. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share with people who need the help. Uh, my channel has a lot of videos, over 400 videos. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again. Bye-bye.